Hey everyone, welcome to the show. So I mentioned a few weeks ago that Matt Gates's ex-girlfriend had been subpoenaed by the House Ethics Committee, and she has now confirmed she will be meeting with them soon. A source told ABC News the committee plans to ask Gates's former girlfriend about allegations that he paid for sex, used illicit drugs, and violated lobbying laws. So Gates's ex is a former Capitol Hill staffer. And when her attorney, a man named Tim Jansen, spoke with ABC News, he said that she'll be appearing before the committee on February 29th via Zoom. So that's coming up. There is a catch though. Jansen told ABC, quote, of course we will comply with the subpoena and we will appear before the committee. I can confirm I received a subpoena on behalf of my client. We will certainly appear before the committee as required. However, we have informed the staff that my client will be invoking her Fifth Amendment right before the committee. So here's what I think is going on and why she plans to plead the Fifth. This woman's name hasn't been released, but based on previous reporting by the Daily Beast, I think that this is a woman who Gates met through the Sugar Daddy website as well. Unless this is a completely different ex, then this is someone the Beast reported on in the, in the past, and she was also, you know, using that Sugar Daddy website to make extra cash. Now, she's also one of the women I know for sure who went on that 2018 trip to the Bahamas where Gates was there, the then 17-year-old girl went, there were other men and women. So she might be concerned that she has some culpability or exposure. I'm not sure. Um, it's just a really bad sign for Gates, though, that one of his ex-girlfriends, someone who's a witness in this investigation, feels compelled to plead the fifth to avoid self-incrimination. And friends and colleagues are now starting to spill the tea about Gates, even more so than they were, which is another bad sign. Another member of Congress, a sitting member of Congress, told The New Yorker, quote, he's the most unpopular member of Congress, with the possible exception of Marjorie Taylor Greene, and he doesn't care. Another person who was described in this article as a former congressional staffer and a quote unquote friend of Gates <laughs> told the news outlet, quote, being a member of Congress is hard. You're flying from your district to Washington and back all the time. You're studying policy. You're raising money. Matt is too lazy for that. <laughs> That's a friend. <laughs> I hate to hear what his enemies say. Um, a former chief of staff for a Republican governor went on the record. His name is Mac, uh, Mac Stepanovich. So Stepanovich described Gates as a, quote, typical child of rich parents. And he said, quote, he's intelligent, entitled, irresponsible. He is accustomed to being the center of attention and insists on being the center of attention. And then Stepanovich noted, quote, if you're going to be a spoiled rich kid, it's better to be dumb. Matt's trouble is he's a spoiled rich kid and he's smart. He's clever, and that's gotten him into all kinds of trouble. <laughs> and then the New Yorker shared a very interesting, lengthy text exchange between Joel Greenberg and uh, this a woman, one of these women who was on the Sugar Daddy website. So Joel Greenberg, you guys will recall, he is now a convicted criminal. He was uh, Matt Gates's BFF for quite a while. He is the one who implicated Gates to begin with and said, yeah, he was you know paying for sex. So this woman who he was connected with and who he was com communicating with, she went by the pseudonym of Priscilla. So I don't know what her real name is, but we're going to call her Priscilla. So Greenberg messages her and says, quote, I have a friend flying in and we are trying to make plans for tonight. Then Greenberg asked her, quote, how much of an allowance will you be requiring? And then he said, quote, if you have a friend that is down, perhaps all four of us can meet up later. Do you party at all? So Priscilla says, yes, I have a friend. And then, quote, I usually do 400 per meet. Yeah, 
sure that's just for the pleasure of her company. She then asked Greenberg, quote, does your friend use the website as well, meaning the Sugar Daddy website? Greenberg replies to her, quote, yes, he understands the deal. And then Greenberg and Priscilla exchanged photos, and then she asked Greenberg for a picture of his friend, and he sent her a photo of Matt Gates. So Priscilla later responded with something that made me laugh so hard, I snorted. <laughs> she said, quote, I'm gonna try to keep a straight face. Ooh, <laughs> my friend thinks he's really cute. I mean, for $400, I guess maybe anybody could be cute. I know, I'm just kidding. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I will just say that, okay? Anyway, all they have to do is to call these women as witnesses, right? Subpoena Gates travel records for that weekend because Greenberg told her, oh, my friend's only going to be here for the weekend. I don't understand. I'm not understanding why it was so difficult for the Justice Department to do their damn job and bring charges against this jackass. What is so difficult? You have how many witnesses? So anyway, again, I will say I do not think that it was because they didn't think they could get a conviction. I think they could get a conviction. I think it's because of daddy's money, daddy's money and daddy's connections, as always, just like when he was caught driving drunk. Totally got him off of that as well. Even got the cop suspended or fired. So <sighs> sickening. Absolutely sickening. But then, you know, somebody like Matt Gates is going to rail against, oh, two tiers of justice in this country. Yeah. Yeah, jackass. And you're the beneficiary of it. So I will let you know when I hear more. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like this video, share it, become a subscriber if you have not, become a donor if you possibly can, or leave a tip or super thanks. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.